guys. So I'm just gonna double check, make sure this is working. Okay, there we go. Wasted time. Um, so I have a bunch of like nail polishes that I've I've gone and dumped out of my container, and I don't know why I felt the need to go through them, but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna record it because that's how you get YouTube famous. So here is a bunch of my nail polishes there's some over here I have like this glittery thing that's got oh it's a terrible video those um okay so a lot of my nail polishes are sparkly this one is from ice and it is called It's called Wide Awake. Um, sorry, it was so blurry. But I have, I really like this one. This one is really nice. It's from Sinful Colors. And it's called I Love You. That's super creative. But you can't really see it, but it is shiny. Hang on. I tried to put it on for you. It's kind of sheer. I don't know if you can tell, um, and then it's got, when it catches the light, it's got some sparkle to it. It's really pretty. I would put it under, like, or, sorry, over, like, a lighter color, maybe, but it's, like, this pretty sparkly color, and it's purple, which is great. This one is great. Um, it's from Sally Hansen, and it's just part of their chrome nail makeup. This is actually... Uh, one of the ones that I first got when I was little, my grandmother gave it to me because I couldn't have real nail polish because I wasn't old enough yet. And I'm going to um, open it and show it to you, but the nail polish is literally this color. Hang on. Like, it's kind of bad to see because this is a terrible video, <laughs> but look, the nail polish is literally the same color as the bottle and it's so perfect and it's so old like but it's still the best part about it is that it's so old but it's still a good nail polish like it's not dried out or tacky or anything like that um it's great I love it um, and this is how it shows up on my nails um it kind of matches my skin color which is why I don't wear it very often because that's weird to me it looks like I don't have a nail it's more of like a summer nail polish probably for me um so like people with a darker skin color this would probably look really really nice on all year round I also have a bunch of really glittery ones I love these I went through like a phase this one is one of my favorites I love that shade of blue it is called wide awake oops it's called wide awake and it's from ice and it's like this really like look at that it's so pretty and then I love this this one is just a really great glitter like it's just straight up glitter it's from spoiled and it is called show me the money it's a really great shade of green. I love these ones from Nicole. I think I love the bottle shape. It's been, like unique. I don't know. This one's cool. It's got, if you can see it, a stupid phone. Um, it's got like little heart shapes in it. I think that's really pretty. Um, this one is a nice, like clubbing one. Um, and then this one from Revlon has, like, little moons and stars in it. And it's also a really pretty sheer color. Um, it's called Celestial Effects. And it's cool under, like, a black one or, like, a fun color, too. But it's really, it's pretty. This one, I darkened the color so you could really see the nail polish. It's called Strike Gold. 
It's from Victoria's Secret and it's really like I love it. It's so pretty and it's it's a good nail polish too. It comes out with that thickness on your nail. I thought it was going to be really sheer. Um, it's very pretty. It's from Victoria's Secret. I lost the little thing, the cap that they put on top of the cap because that makes sense. Um, I don't know. This is really, it's a really pretty color. I love it. It's a fun color. It's gold. It makes me feel like a rich girl. It's very pretty. These ones are really fun too. Um, this one is called Navy Shatter. It's from OPI. This one is called Turquoise Shatter from OPI. And this one is just called Black. And this one is called Turquoise. Um, they're really cool. I'm sure a lot of you know about these. This is not a new concept. Um, it was when I got them, but I've had them for a while. They, when you paint them on your nail, if you have like a, a painted nail, they show up in like this kind of pattern. And I just think that's so cool. And I don't know what kind of science is behind it. I'm sure there's some. But I think it's cool. I'm going to show you um, what this one looks like. So give me one second. Okay. So I used it on both of the fingers that I painted. Um, it's best to use it under... Sorry, over... Uh, previously painted nail polish. So this one, this one I used kind of a thicker coat. Um, I don't really like using that with a thicker coat too much. It sort of, it looks more like chipped off than the way it's supposed to, I think. I don't know. That's just me. Um, and then on this one I used a thinner coat. I think that looks much better. I think it looks more the way it's supposed to, plus you have that color underneath, you know, you want to show it. Um, I like this one, the thinner layer, much better. I've never tried it on just putting that on my nail before, so I don't know what that would look like. This is what it looks like, which I think is very interesting. Um because it doesn't really crack at all it just sort of is this very thin layer of very matte nail polish um so I think it's something to do with the way it reacts with the nail polish already on your finger but I think that also looks kind of cool too maybe it's just me but I would probably do that like in a thicker coat on my nails um but so that's what that looks like i just want to show you um this last nail polish it is from nina and 